helping me close the show tonight, aside from Desmond, is the guy who can now add San Antonio Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off Grand Champion to his resume. It's a huge win, and some might argue it's one of the biggest in Texas during the year. Here to recap the win and the weekend is the pitmaster of O3 Barbecue. It is Oscar Garcia joining us here on the show. Oscar, how are you, buddy? I'm good. Good evening. How are y'all doing? Uh, doing absolutely fabulous, Oscar. Uh, neighbor Desmond is sitting in uh, as well tonight, so he's very honored to be talking to a Texas champion, no doubt. Um, uh, Oscar, first time on the show, so uh, we're going to get a little background on you first, but there is a bit of a bet going on amongst some of us here in the background talking about what O3 stands for. So give us the real answer and make one of us a winner. Well, I'm actually the third Oscar. Uh, my grandfather's Oscar, my dad's Oscar, and I'm the third. So it, uh, it just seemed fitting to, to, to be the O3 barbecue. Well, I guess I won 25 bucks. Yes, I did. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations your, uh, to you. 10% cut, absolutely. I always like to give 10% to the people that are helping me out. Um, all right, Oscar, so let's talk a little bit about your background. I mean, uh, I don't want to just assume that you're kind of a, a Texas born and bred guy, but uh, if you are, I assume being around live fire is part and parcel of the whole lifestyle. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, born and raised hard in Texas. Uh, couldn't wait to leave, and, and it seems like uh, once it was time to leave, I didn't want to leave, and so here I am, uh, never left. Was that just like the um, rebellious <clears throat> youth of wanting to get out from under wing, or like did you have some other ideas of why you wanted to get out? No, I just wanted to explore. I've always been a traveling kind of person and uh, always looking for the unknown, and uh, it just seems that uh, that everything that I love to do is here. And I love to hunt, and I love to fish, and I love to barbecue. I love warm weather, so it was just all just fitting to be here. Oscar Garcia joining me here on the show, pitmaster of O3 Barbecue. When are you exposed to competition barbecue? I mean, a, a lot of us, especially down in your neck of the woods, it's something you just kind of grow up around, but competition is uh, certainly a whole different monster. So did you get introduced to, introduced to it through a friend? Did you see something in a magazine, or how are you uh, brought into it? No, actually, that's exactly how it started. It was through a friend, a uh, real dear good friend of mine, David Michael Gonzalez, and uh it kind of started out as a joke, and we went out there and and ate up a barbecue event, and we just got hooked, and that was that was the end of that. Um, this all started probably about four years ago, and uh, I established O3 Barbecue back in April 18, 20, uh, I'm sorry, April of 2018, in Beeville, Texas, at Spring Fest, and uh, my wife and I valued it did real well, and uh, we just. We just always had a had a dream to keep doing it, and we ended up putting a plan together, and it became a goal, and here we are today. So you got, uh, what is it, a year? Is it just a year or not even a year yet? Uh, no. Actually, this April uh, will be uh, our, our one-year anniversary to have O3 Barbecue. So were you competing with your friend there for a little while, too, before you started O3 then? We did. Uh, we made a run at it, and uh, we actually got a a top ten in the IBCA uh, organization our first year of cooking. And uh, yeah, it uh, it really planted the seed, and and we're we're watering that tree as much as we can. Do you guys just decide that you wanted to be your own pitmaster, and your friend wanted to be his own pitmaster, and and that's why you end up going your own ways, or or what's the deal with that? No, actually, uh, I really enjoy traveling, and uh, uh, I wanted to take this to another level as far as going out of state, and um, so that's, that's why I did it. Um, him and I still cook side by side. Uh, we'll go to events, and, and we'll be together, but uh, yeah, I, I, I ventured off into West Texas. I went to, to North Texas, Central Texas. I even went to New Mexico, and uh it's just something my family and I enjoy doing. We enjoy traveling, and I visited more towns that I didn't even know existed in Texas now because of barbecue. Is it all uh, like IBCA stuff or a Texas sanction, or will you get into FBA and KCBS too? Uh, actually, I, 
I'm going to venture into KCBS in the near future. Um, I, I really want to get to, I really want to get my machine real nice, well and oiled. And once we, once I feel that, we'll take to to the, we'll step a step a different direction. But right now, it's it's definitely just IBCA. Um, when we first started out, uh, we actually paid some guy to let us sit at his camp so we could watch how an IBCA event uh, ran. You know, as far as turn in times and when you start doing things and and just to see how the process is and uh, I'll probably end up doing that for a KCBS event. Oscar Garcia joining me here on the show, Pitmaster of O3 Barbecue. Uh, Oscar, have you competed in the San Antonio event before? I did. This is uh, actually my second year. I've uh, been real lucky to, to be, re- be able to return. Uh, United Rentals is our big sponsor there, Monster Grillers, over there with Kim and and uh, and Carlos. They're, they just they get our spot every year. And, and we're very fortunate to be a part of that. So let's go ahead and take a look back at this past weekend uh, from a cooking standpoint and a, a camp standpoint. Anything crazy happen, or uh, did it seem like this was a championship style cook for you guys? No, it's uh every every cook it was has its uh has its little hiccups, and this this one was no different. Uh, once you get to to cooking these big events. It's not really about what you do right. It's what it's what you do wrong, and uh, if you can minimize what you do wrong, that's that's usually when when you come out on top. Uh, we did have some hiccups. The weather wasn't cooperating. It was real cold. Um, I didn't have my cook trailer like I normally do, and so I had to cook out of a pop up tent, and I slept on site. And my heater went out probably at four in the morning. I couldn't even feel my feet. So it was a uh, it was a definitely a, a out of the norm cook, but we we adjusted. We did what we had to do, and you know we had to start our our rec tech a little earlier, just because of how cold it was. But uh, you know a machine like that, once they're started and get going, it's just they're just amazing. They make things happen. From a proteins standpoint, I would assure or I would assume everything seems to go on track for you guys. You have a, a pretty solid program that you're working as far as briskets, ribs, and chicken. Yeah, we, uh, we have a plan and, and we don't deviate. You know, uh, we like to think that our stuff is, is, is pretty good. And, and if we do make uh, changes, it, it's very minor, but uh, for the most part, it's, we stay, we stay to the plan. When winners are announced, I know that, some of the maybe it's all of them uh the, the texas stuff or at least ibc they do this uh ticketing system where they give you tickets and then the the guy actually calling out the winners is just reading out numbers and then everybody quickly scans the tickets to see if they're the person that has the winning ticket and then everybody realizes oh well it's uh you know it's uh it's oscar that won or is this a similar situation exactly the way it goes um i actually i don't even know the numbers my wife takes care of that and uh, when she nudges me, it's the same day, time to time to walk. Do you wish that they would like get out of the whole ticketing thing and have your name called at the end instead of taking that? I don't know what is it could be twenty seconds. I mean, what happens if somebody's going to take a leak and they have the ticket? Then you get you know you still call it the number and you got to wait for them to get back. Um, would you rather hear your name announced out versus the number and then the process of looking at it and then going, oh hey wait that's me, bingo. Um, I, I wouldn't think, or I, I don't feel it's, it's that big of a deal. Of course, that's just my opinion. Um, as far as the whole take a leak thing, it has happened. Oh, really? Um, they don't, <laughs> oh yeah. It, it, uh, they don't skip you. They just keep calling numbers and they'll, they'll call you again. Uh, they'll call that number out again and they give you to like, I want to say the last brisket call to, to claim that ticket. And, uh, there's been chance, times where, for somebody to go claim a chicken walk and, in the middle of brisket so uh, it's not unheard of you're cooking on uh, only rec techs or do you have multiple cookers actually no i have a homemade drum that i that i made and i, I do cook on that uh, i sear my brisket i mean that's that's where i do it but it immediately goes to the rec tech uh, i cook my ribs 100 on on my rec tech 
and uh, probably going to start doing my chicken just because it's just because it's so consistent. Where are you guys going to be cooking at next? You know, that's something to be determined. Uh, oh. My wife and I were looking at each other today, and, and we have a few uh, obligations that we got to do in the next couple of weeks. But uh, once those are over, it's going to pretty much open up, and we're going to hit the trail hard just like we always said we were. When you win an event like a San Antonio uh, Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off, do you feel like the next one you show up to, there's going to be a bigger bullseye on your back? You know, I, I just don't think about things like that. This the sport's very humbling. I'm lucky to have have friends in it, that, you know, that, that helped me get to here. I didn't do this alone. Um, Chuck and Oki and Fred Robles and, you know, I mean, the list goes on and on. But these guys, you know, they they, they just – I don't, I don't feel like we, 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 we're more of a family and, uh, we kind of take each take care of each other in that aspect. So this could, this is one of those, any given Saturdays, it could have been anybody. Uh, we had lady luck on our side and, and we'll take it. Oscar Garcia is the pit master of O three 3 barbecue. And they just walked away with the grand champion of the San Antonio rodeo barbecue cook-off. Oscar, really appreciate you letting us get to know you a little bit, and congratulations again on the big win. Yeah, want to. I got a minute. I'd like to say something. Yeah, go to ahead. To Son Manuel for providing us with our great meats. Uh, that's Louis and Marco Flores, uh, Rec Tech Grills, Raymond, Silo, Jody, Adam, Chupacabra Seasonings, Alton Paris, uh, Shells Sport Boats, SCB Boats, West and Kyra Hudson, uh, Grill Greats, Michael Deporia. Uh, United Rentals, Monster Grillers, Jail Audio, Ori Freeman, uh, Medicine Shop, Thomas Gar uh, Garza, Crawford Spirits, I'm um, Spritz, it's uh, Brian Crawford, Texas Pepper Jelly, Craig Sherry, and Mitchell Smoke, that was Trey Mitchell. Uh, those are all the guys that really, really help us uh, week in and week out on our sponsorships, keep us going. All right, Oscar, man, way to get those in, I appreciate it. All right, I appreciate it. You got it. There he is, your winner. Oscar Garcia.